Hello again everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. We are back here on Solstheim. Uh, we have just killed a few mud crabs of that old jetty, including old Salty himself. Whether he was actually pertinent in some way, I'm not too sure. I couldn't see anything, I couldn't see anything journal related in there, but um, but yeah. So we're going, trying to get across to this island of Stalrim here. Uh, that looks like the crazy Stalrim dude. Of, well, it looks like, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be the crazy Stalrim guy. Yep, yeah, there's Skull. That's the man. Skull the Tongueless. I mean, he's, he's fighting bravely. I... I hit him straight into the, uh, straight into the, in, in, into the, uh, the sea. Star and battle axe are freezing and stuff. The dead hawker. This is another star and deposit there as well. Star and fur armor for helmets, for gauntlets, and fur boots. Huzzah! And a daily battle axe of terror as well. Plenty star in here. Look at all this. Gorgeous. So we got so it's so it's all heavy armor, unfortunately. So it's not going to be any good, but still, I'd, I'd, I'd be half tempted to to put that on a mannequin, maybe in um, somewhere. I can't remember if I have any mannequins left in uh, my watch or not, but potentially I could even just use um, the mana in um, in Raven Rock. I'll tell you what I will do. Surrounder, if I can just interrupt your swimming for a second. You something? If you think it'll help. Can I nick, nick your pickaxe for a second? Well, it's my pickaxe, which I gave to you, but you get the picture. I shall equip the pickaxe to save myself a bit of time. This kids is mining. This, this, that, that right there is absolutely how you mine. Don't, don't let anyone tell you any different. There's one here as well, isn't there? Yeah, this is the this is the appropriate technique if you're ever using a pickaxe. Just, just, just swing it up, down, left, and right. Don't think too hard of the uh, of the of the specifics. Honestly, it's fine. So style rim, we should have tons now. We have twenty lots of style rim. Uh, I needed so much, so many star ingots, didn't I? See, it says it says ten star and is that literally just ten bits of star, or is that ten star ingots? I'm not sure. If it's just if it's just star rim, fine. Ebony ingots might be a bit harder, but potentially I might have some in in uh, tundra. I'm not sure, and I can potentially just maybe make some or buy some. Yes. Um, this better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. No, don't be silly, Serana. How, 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 how on, how dare you? Actually, would you mind keeping a hold of the star? There you go. Just keep a hold. Just keep a hold of all the star room. Actually, do you have any ebony ingots on you? Oh, what is it? Anything good? Don't mind me, I'm just sailing away from you. Uh, no, you don't have any ebony ingots, that's fine. Right, there we go. So I need to go... So I can go southeast here. To check out these caves. Obviously they must be a little bit more inland. Than what is immediately visible, because there is obviously no caves here. Uh, so if, if I swim to the beach, there might be a path we can maybe use to get a bit further inland. There's someone fighting a bunch of hawkers there. It looks like there's, there's a couple of frost trolls as well. It looks it looks like absolute absolute unbridled chaos. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, well, whoever it was just 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 died, which could be ideal, could not be ideal. I'm not sure. Depends. Who is it? Ah, it's a reaver. Nothing of any value was lost, guys. It's fine. Throw down the guys. Yeah. 
Kill the Frost Trolls. I'm honestly thinking one, maybe two more, more uh, skill level ups. Are you still alive? You were, you were alive. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Is there actually a cave this way? Oh, no, there might be something behind a waterfall, you never know. There actually isn't though. That's fine. Yeah, one, potentially two more skill level ups, and I think we might actually be level 80, which is very exciting. Very exciting indeed. Right, so we know there's a cave here somewhere, which we can actually use. Uh, the other ones, obviously, we need to get actually up these cliffs to reach. Because so I'm hoping I'll find the path inland somewhere. We missed badly there. Glacial cave. That sounds... That sounds very generic. So I'm not expecting anything too special in here, but you never know. Oh, there is, there is an East Empire Company strongbox, though. Gotta, gotta keep a good, a good eye out for these, you really do. Like I didn't in my first few episodes here in Solstheim. Like, chances are I probably missed a one or two uh, after those first few episodes as well, knowing me. But, um, yeah, right. Are we on some old reclings here by any chance? If there wasn't any outside, it would still give me big reclink vibes. Yeah, they're right there. Yeah, they're all here. They're all here. One more destruction increase. Oh, that was savage. I do honestly feel like I'm nigh on single-handedly destroying the entire reeling population here on Solstone right now. It's 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 pretty it's pretty ugly. And this was all that was in the cave as well, so that's fine. That's all good. Nice, easy, quick little run inside here. Let's take our leave again. Hopefully Serana's standing outside, because I don't know where she's gone again. I mean I have not taken the most ideal route around here, but yeah, she's she's not she's nowhere to be seen. That's a bit concerning. It's a tiny bit worrying. Right, oh yeah, I'm gonna have swam basically around the whole island, haven't I? And I am still struggling to find a way up there. Hmm. Ha! Really? You little shit. Okay, hold on a second. Dragon rend. Right, I, I I need to find a I need to find a spot. Like which has a good bit of flat ground. Here we go. To be honest, if there's any time that calls for it, I think it's now. Let's get the bow and arrows out. Oh, is that a... Oh, the cultists are back. I've not seen these in a while. Honestly, guys, if I survive this, it's going to be a massive shock. These cultists normally cause me a bit of havoc on their own. And... In fact, there's also a dragon now currently flying around. Threatening me. Right, if your if, if your mirror is so there's a fucking lurker. I I didn't think they they, they, they existed outside of Apocrypha. Apparently they do. There we 
go. We are level 80. We just need to actually survive this fight now. That's also, also preferably not die. That, that would also be nice. Seriously, we are struggling here. for damage, I'm telling you. Uh, I mean, he is currently being turned into a pin question as well, but still. Well, my arm is going up at least. It's got to be the longest fight of all time. Uh, right. What can we even use here? Drain Vitality? Yeah, honestly, that just doesn't do anything. It really didn't do anything at all. Unless it reduces maximum vitality, which isn't completely out of the question, but... Even that's dubious. Right, we're leveled up. We, we are officially level 18, so I'm, so I'm going to put my health up. And I will put my one-handed up as well. Whew! Okay. And quick save. There we go. So I fully expect at some point... Oh, there's an earner right here. Yeah, I fully expect at some point the... Um, yeah, let's let's try and use this path in land because I've been skirting the beaches for far too long. Yeah, I'm expecting at some point the Curry is going to chase us down and um, tell us about the Ebony Warrior, no doubt. Right, let's get let's let's go back around this way up, up the cliffs so we can actually get to, get to those caves which we missed. God damn. Oh, it's a stray dog. You okay, buddy? Hope he's alright. Cool guy. So yeah, we'll, we'll get up here and hopefully Serana will um, be able to join us as well. And if she doesn't, well, I'm lost. Back here in Benkonga Rake. Ben Benkong E Reek E Benkong E E Rack yeah, yeah, you know. I don't think I'll ever quite get, quite get the pr uh, pronunciation down for that one, but it's a brilliant name either way. Luckily that dragon seems to have flown away and, and has just gone, which is nice. Because, not going to lie, I didn't really want to deal with it. I'm not, I'm not even sure what kind of dragon it was. Maybe, maybe I don't want to know. I'm safer, safer, just safer, just not knowing. Right. Let's not fall down the waterfall. I need to work out where these caves actually are. Like, how accessible are they? This might be one here. There's a little... Yeah. Castle Karstag Ruins. Right. I think... I should probably put off going in here. The only reason I say that is because I believe Castle Castag is quite a prominent location. And also... Um, sorry, I'm, I'm just checking that Fort Ragstad isn't on here anyway, because I, I, I don't know, Fort Ragstad rings too much of a bell. Just for the uh, the armor set, but I don't think it is anywhere. Um, yeah. Castle Karstag, I believe, is a quite a prominent area. I have heard of Karstag himself being an absolute pain in this game. I, I, I believe he do I believe he does he does make a return. Um, even though you 
fight, even though you fight him in uh, Blood Moon. But I'm pretty sure he, he does make a return. And I don't think that you uh, want to fight him. Yet, anyway. Uh, Falthars. Falthars is south of White Ridge Barrow, so I could start making my way towards there. And the, another piece of the um, Death Brand armor set should be southwest of Falthars as well. So, yeah, if I if I start making my way south towards Falthars, we'll, we'll we'll go from there. So, yeah, sorry, stray dog, but it's it, I can't. Yeah. Your pet heads back up. Is that literally how you how you get a pet here? You just find a stray dog and then boom. Ooh, are they more who are they? Are they more cultists? Are they reavers? Is it the more egg tongue? Whoever they are, they ain't friendly. More egg tongue, fantastic. I feel like Craig is the first in. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah, I feel like Craig is the first in, uh, in Morrowind uh, to end up wearing a set of Morag I am so weak. It's not even funny. Sorry, Mr. Assassin. Did I hit him? Not even sure if I hit him or not, but if I did, I'm not sure if I'm going to be seeing him again. If if I did, he straight up just shouldn't be alive. Like like, let's be honest, he, he should not be alive at all. Quick save again, because yeah, he 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 might appear again. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I might have to go back back to the beach. It looks like he's still alive. It looks like he, he's going to persist in trying to chase me, so I may as well go fight him again. Is he, is he stuck halfway up the mountain? I can't see him anywhere, but he might be up there somewhere. I'll leave him to it. It's fine. Not going to bother me too much. I tried to I tried to kill him and kill him in the stylish way, but unfortunately, it, it didn't quite it didn't quite pay off. Uh, yeah, so I was saying before, um, Karstag, I have heard talk that apparently he is just absolutely awful to fight in this game, in, in the sense that he's just seriously tough. So, um, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to assume there's going to be a quest to go into Castle Karstag at some point. Regardless of, the, of whether there is or there isn't, I will go in there at some point, but I feel like I want to do as much as I possibly can before actually going in there. Do you know what I mean? Um, just so I can be as as prepared as I can as I possibly can be anywhere. Otherwise, I feel like it might end very badly for me. Do kind of want to visit the stone down there. I'm not sure how easily. Nah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll go around. Let's go to Falfaz first. If I can reach it anywhere. It's just over that hill. Exploring Solstheim is fun. Like it's 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 very it's very eerie, but it's fun. I quite like the sort of general vibe it gives off. Like compared to Raven Rock, you do feel a very alone here. Ah, this is this is where we came out to. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good stuff. I'll go up here then. Yeah, there's tons of map markers around here to investigate things. So this is Foul Plaz. Yep, there we go. Uh, 
And it's infested with Reeklings. Happy days. Just what you want to see. Just what you want to see. Right, one at a time. One at a time. Aye, aye, aye. Oof. That honestly just looked like I just basically clubbed him over the head with a sword. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. Right. Take what I can from there. Didn't really want the Reekling Spears, but it'll be fine. Um, right, Falpaz. Can I fast travel to Falpaz? Can I get Serana to reappear with me? It sounds like I have. Yes, she's back. Thank God. Thank God. Right. So on that note, guys, next uh, we shall end this episode here. So thank you very much for watching. Next episode we shall go into uh, Falpaz and see if we can check out this forge. Um... It says, it, says, it says the heretic attempt to use the forge and file parts to enchant an ancient so into, sorry just to enchant a drama weapon um, so yeah let's see what we can find in this temple in, sorry not in the temple in file parts in the next episode so thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next episode of Skyrim have a beautiful day guys bye bye